like uh, preparations for Nottingham Forest are obviously well underway. Um, how have the lads responded in training this week after what was the, a real crazy game against Hull City? Yeah, yeah, five five at home against Hull was like you say it was crazy. Um, but we went through the video on on Monday with the lads, and to be fair, they picked the bones out of it, and they were very honest with each other and uh, very honest with us. What needed to be done better to prevent the goals and to maintain the lead. So we went through it, and then the last couple of days in training has been very positive. Uh, we've done a communication day yesterday, which was which was good, um, and all focused is on Forest now for Saturday. Yeah. Of course, Derby County played last night, got that win over Cardiff City, a bit of a dent in Bristol City's playoff chances. Yeah, it's a bit of a dent, but it still leaves us where we need to win the next two, and hope others get results. Um, so we still need six points from the last two, and hope everyone else um, does us a favour. Really, mm. it's not. Percentage is not as good as it was, but we still got a slim chance. And well, there's that chance, we may as well give it a go. Sort of echoing the words of Marlon Pax, that you're, you're keeping the faith. You know, the fight goes on until it's mathematically over. Yeah, until it's mathematically over, we've got to keep the fight. And yeah. um, we've got six points to play for. We want to win the six, finish as high up the table as possible, and hope everyone else does does favours for us. Um, but we want to finish. I think we're on 66 at the moment. If we can finish on 72, then who knows where it'll take us. How exciting, if, if that's the word, is this congestion in, for the playoffs? Because I don't think I've really seen anything quite like it at this stage in the season. So many teams who can still possibly get in with two games to go. Yeah, it's crazy. You look at the fixtures on Saturday, or well, Friday night and Saturday. It's unbelievable. They all play each other, we all play each other. So there's probably one spot left now, um, and there's four or five fighting for that. So it's exciting. Uh, onto Nottingham Forest. Um, they've struggled for form. They haven't really got too much to play for uh, when you look at their league standings. Mm-hmm. How do you see it going on, on Saturday? Of course, you beat them earlier on in the season as well. They're a good side. They've got some good players. It'll be tough. Um, obviously, they won last night 3 0, um, which is a big boost for them. I think before that, they only won 1 and 8. So it's a tough mm-hmm. game for both teams, but we go there trying to get the three points. And 1,200 fans, uh, at least, I think tickets only went on sale on Tuesday morning. It's now Wednesday morning, so the, the fans, are keep they'll keep going to the end. They'll be there in big numbers. Yeah, incredible. The fans have been outstanding this season. And we want to finish on a high for them. Um, like you say, that follow on, on Saturday is unbelievable. So we'll do everything we can to get three points and send them home happy. Yeah. You're going to get a, a top half finish, you know, regardless. Um, when you look at where you were last season, that's surely a sign of progression. That's exactly what it is, a sign of progression. We obviously feel we could have finished off better and stronger. Um, we still can, but from where we were, um, it's been a bit up and down the last three or four months. But the positives are we're a really good cup run. Mm. Um, we're finishing the top, hopefully top ten if we can, uh, top six maybe. Um, it's still that there. Um, so we'll evaluate it at the end of the season. We'll see where we are then. Excellent. And just finally, any word on, on injuries? Uh, Josh Brown, of course, um, has stitches to his lips. Uh, and and Hodder Magnussen, how's he, how's he doing? Yeah, Maggie's OK. Uh, Brownie's OK as well. He got a few stitches, <coughs> which is quite a bad, quite a bad one, really. Um, I think it was him and Campbell and a little coming together. Um, we got a few stitches and he's OK.